Now, I've never professed to be an expert on trains, but one thing I know for sure... You can't get one in Skelmersdale. <laughs> As we all know, Skem's not a small place. In fact, it's one of the largest towns in the northwest, second only to Lee, apparently, that doesn't have one. In fact, the nearest Skem has to a train station these days is this, which, to be fair, is quite useful if you work at this specific office block or the hotel next door. But pretty inconvenient for everywhere else. This hasn't always been the case, though. Skem had its own train station once, but what happened to it? And why has it never been replaced? Back in the 1950s, Skem was a small but bustling village with the centre of commerce right here on Sandy Lane and the High Street. The station was nice and convenient and located on the end of a spur line that originated in Ormskirk. But a certain Dr Richard Beeching had other ideas. He took his beeching axe and closed the whole beeching line saying it didn't make enough money. He did this to a third of the UK network to be fair, but Skelmersdale was part of it. When they built the new town, a new railway station simply wasn't on the agenda. This was the 1960s and everyone was buying cars. The automobile was the future. And this is well evidenced in the uncongested and well-planned road network we have today. But it's not the 60s anymore and people don't want to be tied to the cars. Trains are now a lot faster and more energy efficient. And let's face it, it isn't all about Skelmersdale. It's about where you're going to. Get out of Skelmersdale and the traffic and parking at your destination is often a nightmare. Because of this, the subject of reintroducing trains to Skelmersdale is now firmly back on the agenda. A quick look at Google Maps shows the majority of the train line that Dr Beechin took his axe to is pretty much as it was when the line was closed, albeit overgrown and apart from a few gardens in Westhead. It shouldn't be too hard to reroute it though, so there's little reason why the line can't be reinstated. But where would you put the station? Putting it where it used to be would be neither used to an ornament. Well, you can't anyway, because they've built a road over it. And it's about two miles away from what is now the town centre. Sandy Lane and the High Street are simply not the bustling centre that it used to be. Instead, this has been put forward as to where the new station could go. The old Glenburn High School is next to the concourse, council buildings, the Nye Bevan, and the Court Bank Call Centre. It would be next to the new outdoor town centre too, if they ever get round to building it. So all sorted then, only it isn't. Simply reinstating the old line would only be any use if the only places you wanted to go were Ormskirk or Liverpool. Personally, I'd like to see a through station which connects the Kirby to Wigan line. That would be a game changer as it would give you easy access to Wigan which in turn gets you to Manchester and other major cities UK wide and puts Skem within two and a half hours of London. But for now, we have to sit tight and wait. I'd like to think it'll happen, but it's a case of seeing if and when this gets the green light, when it will be planned, when it will be built. The protracted nature of these things these days means it's most definitely a case of providing for future generations rather than this one.